Congratulations on your purchase of a brand new autopilot. I'm Aaron Oberholzer, and uh, I'm here today to help you guys learn how to hit it, teach you a little bit about the autopilot, what it does. Let me give you guys an example of what I'm talking about and kind of give you guys just a little bit lesson on how to use it. First of all, um, 14 and a half degrees. You're thinking, well, Aaron, that's a three wood. Yes, it is, but it's not. At the same time, because of the depth of this face, okay, most traditional three woods these days are very shallow, easy to pop up in the air, okay? You're gonna wanna tee this up just like a driver. You're not gonna wanna tee it low. You're gonna wanna tee it up just like a driver, meaning if you're gonna take your traditional driver and you're gonna go half a ball above the crown, this is the crown of the golf club, the top, you're gonna, the ball's gonna stick a half a ball, a half a ball above the crown, just like that, or if you're gonna see it, maybe you can see it like that, a half a ball above the crown. You're gonna do the same thing with the autopilot. It might tee a little bit lower, but you're still gonna tee it up a half a ball above the crown of the driver, okay? That's where I want it teed up, all right? And you've got these great alignment lines here, the alignment dots and the autopilot, and the way this is shaped here, this little bulge in the driver, to really help you align to your target in the distance. And it kind of gives you a nice visual reference of where we want you to take the club back on the way back, okay? Another thing I'd like to point out um, that I had to correct on literally all eight guys yesterday was the ball position. It's amazing how many amateurs um, get the ball too far back in their stance with the, with the woods or the drivers. Uh, they, you really have to pay attention to this, guys. It's super important. Um, ball position is uh, paramount when it comes, proper ball position is paramount when it comes to hitting drivers pro uh, proper and especially hitting the autopilot proper. You can get away a little bit more with the autopilot having it a little bit further back, but I'd still remember it's a driver. It's not a three wood, it's not a hybrid, it's not a, a, any other kind of five wood or anything. It is a driver and we want you to use it like a driver, which means we want you to tee that thing up where you would normally tee up a driver, which is basically gonna be on your instep. I don't even want, know if I wanna see it at your left heel. That's as far back as I wanna see this thing. I wanna see it on the instep all the way up to your left toe. If you can do that, now you can get a nice potential upward and out path, okay? Upward through the ball and out path and creating a nice little draw with this club to dead, dead straight, actually. It's either gonna go dead straight or it's gonna draw a little bit depending on the face angle and the path, okay? So once you've got it lined up, once you've got your target in the distance, you go through your proper pre-shot routine and you do whatever you need to do, you line it up to there and you just make your normal golf swing. Now, the one thing that I saw yesterday that, I, that, that the guys had to get used to was we told them it was a driver, and immediately they just kind of stood out there like they were hitting their driver. And remember, this is shorter. It's three inches shorter than your average driver. So you're going to have to get, get close to it, closer to it, much like a three wood or a five wood. And then from there, you're going to feel a lot more comfortable, okay? So you stand a little, I stand a little bit closer and a little bit taller, but boy, do I feel like I have a ton more control because of that one of the bonuses and features of the autopilot driver. Now, I'm just going to follow that autopilot label right down my path on the way back. That was actually sort of t towards the heel, peeled back just a little bit to the right, and that thing was still out there, 270, 280. And the trajectory, the trajectory on this thing, because of the 14 and a half degrees, it is such a hot face. It's, it, the face is deep, which is nice. So even though you've got the three wood loft, which I know everybody's skeptical of, trust me, you want that loft to get the ball up in the air. But because the face is deep and this face is on fire hot wise, as far as it just jumping off the face, it gets up and you, you don't see any float. It gets up and just flattens out and goes for days. The thing does not come down. So let me show you one more time. I'm gonna get under the I'm gonna get under the ball, get a little bit more tilted. I'm gonna be behind the ball automatically because the ball position is gonna be further up. And I'm just gonna go ahead and swing it like I would my driver with that forward ball position, just like a driver. That one was really good, but I know I can do better. Four, 
forward ball position. So I'll show you one more time. I want that ball position up there. So if this is the middle of your stance right here, that's almost two and a half head club heads from the middle of your stance. That thing's not going to come down. Shift over. That's good for me. I, that's, that's, as, that's about as good as I can do it. So enjoy your autopilot. I hope you love it. I hope I helped explain kind of what we're doing with it and what you need to, uh, what you need to understand about it. Go out there, play around with it. And once you get out there and hit those fairways and start seeing what this thing can do, I guarantee you, you're going to love it and your driver is going to go back in the closet.